Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? So if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's, ton, there's a huge library of stuff there, so go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hello, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get into that, I want to tell you how to listen to this video. This video is not going to be approaching life on the surface level. Okay. If you didn't check out my 2020 video, I will link it here so that you can go watch that and then come back to this video because that lays the foundation of what people are coining the golden consciousness era, okay? That sounds really good, doesn't it? It sounds amazing, actually, <laughs> but it's a little bit uh, misnamed, I think, because yes, it's what we're going towards, but there's going to be a lot of cleanup and things that are even demolition and then cleanup before we get to that. So that's the equivalent of somebody going, we're going to renovate your house. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to have a beautifully renovated home. And then the construction guys show up with the sledgehammers and the hard hats and the noise. And you're like, oh yeah, we got to do all that first. <laughs> all right. So that's kind of what you might be experiencing. Everyone will be experiencing through 2020. Now, Let's get, oh, I grabbed the wrong deck. Hi. <laughs> Let's get some cards going. If you're wondering why, if we're talking about higher consciousness, why the heck I would still be using a divination tool? This is a, you know, a point of contention for a lot of people because they're saying, well, if you're supposed to be in such high frequency and we're supposed to be like really activating all of our light codes and you know, we're really starting to be able to get messages more immediately, why do you need a physical object, you know, a divination tool to bring it forward? The only reason why I'm still using these is that they're pretty. <laughs> they're pretty and they have words and words have vibrations. So, um, and people out there still connect to it. So by using these cards, I can actually connect to a wider audience because they feel comfortable with it. Okay, so let's see what's going on for your 2020. been coming up for a lot of people but many of you are going to have more and more connections to light beings but the moment you try to use that from an egotistical standpoint or to use that energy or that information for less than scrupulous reasons um, they'll back off and as a matter of fact you'll forget everything they told you we ain't messing around with people no more okay <laughs> people who don't want to be in their purity there's going to be no space left, okay? So we have Gaia. We have Mother Mary. Ugh, just about every single sign that I've recorded so far, there's only been a few, but that I've recorded so far has had some bit of divine feminine energy message. Now I'm using the Magdalene Oracle, so yeah, I guess that would happen. But, <laughs> but it has been kind of a theme. Interesting. All right. So 
before I even show you the cards, I know the grand reveal, I want to talk about a story, okay? A story about you. And this story has to do with coming into this beautiful earth plane existence, um, trying to find your way to compassion, even though for some of you, uh, a lot of you in your soul's contracts, it has been about focusing on self, focusing on self-identifying um, and how and and put how how you put yourself out into the world, how people perceive you might be very important to you. And the secret is, I've got the secret card here. I'll hold it up again here in a moment. The secret is is that a lot of times you're very scared, and a lot of times you feel like maybe you're not going to be loved, or maybe that your compassion gets taken advantage of, especially if you're an empath. I'll have more information coming out about that soon to help empaths, especially. Uh, sort of navigate these coming years. It's going to be very tough on them, on all of us, right? I'm an empath too, but <laughs> it's going to be tough on us because people are going to come um, running to us as if we are their mother because they're scared about what's happening, right? And we are so loving and compassionate that we often will um, put aside our own health, our own good, not not being a martyr, just saying it happens. People come in and uh, they, they want to kind of siphon off of our energy. So anyway, Back to your story. There's a story about you maybe feeling like, like your love is like going to be appreciated. Like you as a person, that there's going to be seen, something seen as wrong with you. And so you hide. You hide behind a big smile. You hide behind a job. You hide behind your hot love partner. <laughs> like, aren't you jealous of me? And that's just it. You live wanting to make people jealous of you. What you will find in 2020 is the return of your heart and soul. Not that you were ever without it, don't get me wrong, but there's going to be a little bit of that vulnerability coming up to the surface. Now, this is not intended to make you a victim. This is not intended to make you feel like, oh, you know, I have to heal now, I have to blah. No, it's an integration. It is the remembrance of who you are and letting the world see it. See, that's the trick with you guys, letting the world see it. and. The secret is revealed. So let's go back to the first card. At the beginning of your story is Gaia. This is your birth. This is you coming in to the whole. This is you agreeing to come into the collective and yes, shine a light. But for a lot of you, shining that light came with a little bit of ego. Okay, and that was for survival of your soul's contract, I think. It was, well, I have a light to shine, so I have to stay out in front of people. I have to be seen. I have to be big. I have to be bold. I have to be bright. But remember your story? Remember what you have going on inside of you? How often do you feel like you've been loved for who you are? How often do you feel like friends have come around you and, you, and you've gotten close with them or whatever, and the moment you showed any vulnerability, they wanted nothing to do with it, right? It wasn't because they didn't care. It was because you came off as duplicitous. And people are always fearful that someone's hiding something, that someone has a secret. <laughs> right? And so that will drive people away from you. Because on the surface, you seem like this, and now you're acting like this. What, what, what? So that historically for some of you is what has scared some people away. Or some of you might be sitting there going, huh, I'm popular wherever I go. That's not true as far as you know. You don't know what people are saying, right? We have Mother Mary here. Mother Mary is all about divine compassion, divine feminine, bringing love forward, being non-judgmental, being patient, kind, sweet, Sweet even, yes. And so this is saying, knock it off, all right? You're in a time on your timeline, yes, where you are finding your way back to you just like everybody else is, but they just said the show is over. The show is over. And so what this is talking about is the old way of going, yeah, I've got to put together, look at me, look at me, look at me. People are going to go, oh, will you stop? Bye. You know, that's a little harsh, but, <laughs> but you know, they're going to turn away from that because they're not resonating with it anymore. So some of you might in 2020 find that you come into a period of loneliness where your minds, your intellect might start going down the road of nobody cares about me. No one sees me. No one appreciates me. And that's not true. 
What people don't resonate is how you present yourself. And if you just take a break from having to be on all the time and you let some of your authentic light come on up to the surface, you're going to find that people can't get enough of you, (laughs) that they just find you to be spectacular. And what's more is now you're leaving room inside of you to find someone else to be spectacular as well. So you're not the one that has to carry all the weight of popularity because everyone can say, oh, that's really wonderful. That's, that's what you work towards, right? No, no. Just having to please everybody, make everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. You're working on your authenticity and you have been for a while. And I bet a lot of you, if the ego gets stirred up by this, and it might, (laughs) and it might very well, um, pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. Why is it so important that you be seen uh, in a certain way? What's behind it? There's your secret. That's the secret. All right. That's really, for some of you, going to be your insecurities. It's going to be that fear. That if anybody really knew this about me or that about me, they would never love me. And so I'm going to keep it hidden. But that time is done. We have heart and soul. So you guys are getting back in touch with this. You're laying down any expectations someone else might have of you. You're reconnecting. And it's through this kind of force, this kind of energy right here. Through that love and compassion. Okay, having love and compassion for yourself, but also for others. That's a big one. Okay, we're all coming into that oneness. We're becoming more and more aware of the oneness. So it's imperative that you hop on in there and do your part and serve the higher good, not just yourselves. Right. Okay. Let's get your color card going on here. And I'm not saying like all Leos are, you know, selfish and you know sorry I'm trying to find space to put things that you're selfish and all this stuff if you get riled by this video then you know what yes I am talking to you because that's your ego okay that is your ego but any any others out there I'm sure you're gonna go I know what you're saying Michelle I'm not I know you're not saying that we're you know selfish and you know we're just worried about what people think of us or whatever I'm not saying that at all but I'm saying that you're not allowing enough of your true authentic selves to come on out and now is your time okay now is your time so we have yellow purify your body the number is 22 you are letting go of the show the show is over you do not need to entertain people you do not need to be popular you do not need to have all the answers you don't need to be the hottest one in the room okay you're giving your body You're purifying your body. So you're giving your body what it needs as opposed to what will dress it up. So, you know, being beautiful, uh, it could come in a lot of different forms. Being beautiful doesn't have to be torturing yourselves, okay? So some of you, you might go through all the procedures. You might be going through all these things that in the end has proven to be very unhealthy for you. So there's another message for many of you that, you know, you might find that there's starting to be some results or some you know undesired results from things that you've done in the past we see people who are constantly going in and getting hair extensions now they have a bald spot on their head i mean it's that kind of thing or um you know me i put on makeup as soon as i put on makeup i start getting like allergies and like you know i'm not allergic to the makeup i just i think my skin doesn't like the makeup and my nose starts running it's like a whole thing right so that is kind of what you're doing you're kind of reversing well first of all becoming aware of the effects some of your choices have been or have made on your body and you're going to reverse it, okay? But you'll be fine, you'll be able to do it. You're just finding another definition of your own truest beauty, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.